Hey guys, Killswitch, back here again with another video today. Um, been kind of lacking on uploads. Uh, I was supposed to, uh, I think like last night or something, I can't remember. Uh, I was going to do like three videos, get them all out like last night. Uh, my, uh, thing for Akira for Kube, my tribute, uh, the video I'm currently doing, and my first episode of Godzilla Explained. I was all gonna get out last night. Busy night. I only got one video out, sadly, but, um, uh, tonight I will get this out. I will work on some other stuff, but I will get my first episode of Godzilla Explained here out soon. Um, also do not mind the background game footage. Uh, I'm going to use footage like this a lot though because uh, it's like the only mobile game that I can actually record, <laughs> so I might use footage from this a lot, <laughs> but just don't mind, if you don't, you don't have to watch it, <laughs> um, but um, so I've been kind of holding off this response, I've been promising Nerf Man I was going to do it, the main reason I did not do it right away is because of the fact that uh, I just wanted to see how how the response would go, um, because, I w although I will talk about this video, I mainly just want to talk about the way they responded. Um, but I'll save that for here in a little bit. Now, uh, as you guys know, I was a part of Nerf Man's video, and I helped them out get a lot of evidence for the video. I was a big part of that video, the making of it, when it comes to the evidence and stuff. Me and Kaiju Productions helped them out a lot. Uh, I'm pretty sure he found some stuff on his own, too. I don't know if he did or not, um, because I don't know what all Kaiju Productions gave him, but, um, I just know what I gave him, um, but anyways, um, in the video, he made a lot of good points, I thought he did a good job making constructive criticism about certain points, uh, I was shocked he used the full clip for my, uh, video, actually, because that video was, like, six minutes long, but he did cut it down quite a bit, but, um, um, he did a good job making points, uh, Obviously, uh, knowing his fan base, uh, his fan base does, however, need to understand that that's just kind of his form of entertainment. And although he is kind of saying uh, some stuff towards uh, other people, as in kind of negatively, like kind of bashing stuff at all, like when it comes to like really mean jokes or names and stuff, that's not really a cue. That's not really him telling you guys to go. Uh, attack the person and the reason why I'm saying that is I will talk about later on kind of what's going on there but um as for the video I thought it was a really good video it's one of my favorites from him I thought he did a good job on it and I was glad to be a big part of it I do not regret being a part of it um especially since kind of what the response has been for the most part um but um I do uh th it's not I wouldn't I don't think it's my favorite video from him but like Definitely probably my favorite rant on his channel, uh, maybe, but he, I thought he did a really good job with it, Took made all the points very well, very clear, did a good job, uh, and uh, I just want to congratulate him on making a really good video, uh, I hope the awareness gets out here soon, I promised I was going to do a reaction for him, but the problem was the video was like almost 15 minutes long and I was already busy enough over the weekend, um, but anyways, uh, I'm just going to get on the part B of the thing. So the initial response to his uh, rant, uh, I know that I'm really talking weird. That's kind of that's because it's late at night and I'm having a, hard, a little bit of a difficult time editing. I kind of had to redo the audio a couple different times. Um, the, uh, <clears throat> the response was very weird. Right away, Molly said she didn't care. She wasn't watching it. She said her friend watched it. Uh, she said, t her friend apparently told her what was kind of going on. She just said she was ignoring it, nothing biggie. And that was pretty much, it went from there. At first it seemed like she did not care. Uh, and what happened was her friend started panicking. I'm not going to give any names. Uh, honestly, I think her friends have took it way worse than she has. Uh, but anyways, so. Then she kind of talked about how she was kind of depressed because everyone was hating her and stuff. And Nerf Man shouldn't have did that. But once she came to realize that the rant was meant to help her in a way, she did admit, because she eventually did watch the rant, she did admit that uh, she was going to try to change and listen to the rant because she agreed with, she pretty much understood what the rant was meant for. Uh, I'm glad not 
everyone understands when they get a rant on them what it's meant for. Uh, and basically the objective of the rant was achieved. Um, in case you guys don't know, Molly does claim she's 15. Uh, that might be false because I've said I'm older than I actually am plenty of times. Uh, nowadays, I'll be more open about it uh, because I'm going to be an adult here in a couple years anyway. So there's no point, honestly, of lying about it. But um, yeah, I don't know if Molly's lying or not. I do not believe she's 15, but it's possible. I do believe, though, however she is. Definitely old enough to uh, take care of herself and stuff on this website and know what she's getting into and old enough to be able to take jokes and construct eh, constructive criticism. Uh, but it did seem like she took the video pretty well for the most part at first. Um, well, not at first, but eventually. And she did say she's going to try to change. Now, it was weird, though, because a lot of her friends started panicking, thinking we were all going to get her IP ad I mean, their IP addresses blocked because that happened to us and want revenge apparently and one of her friends even deleted their instagram account over this whole thing but they did later on remake it um but for the most part um it seems like molly has no issues with anyone that was part of the video associate with the video and she kind of understands the point of it now here's the issue now she's having some difficulties because a lot of Nerf Man's fans are going through her channel and kind of attacking her, you know, which would be expected, but apparently it's really bad. They're kind of all harassing her and stuff, and I've seen many of the comments, death threats and everything. Um, the point I was trying to bring up earlier is that you guys have to understand, the Nerf Man doesn't say he condones boy and stuff. The main reason is that he says that although he does make a lot of mean kind of jokes and stuff in his video that kind of would sound like bullying for the most part, it's if his form of entertainment, uh, that's kind of, you know, that's what he's built his fan base on. That's kind of what, you know, everyone finds enjoyable. I mean, there's comedians and stuff that don't get on bullying and they do the same thing. And it's just like, that's just kind of his form of entertainment. Uh, you know, I'll, res I'll respect that, I guess. Uh, I don't really agree with, you know, kind of mean stuff. But sen since that is a form of entertainment, that's kind of what he builds fan base around. I understand from a business, in a way, standpoint, um, but him making these videos is not an automatic him telling his fan base to go after her or any, by any means or anything. Uh, I hope you guys just know, you there is no need to go attack her or her friends, no need to give them death threats or anything. That was never anyone's intention throughout making the video. Um, that's not what we wanted. We wanted just to help her out and her friends possibly but you you guys are trying to get involved you should not be doing you guys can get involved you know we have no control over that but just please don't do it in such a negative matter really like some of the stuff you guys are saying and doing is kind of uncalled for i do think you guys should be more if you guys really want to help her out and not just be douches i think you guys should do it in a more positive way but um i don't know um i don't know what much more i can say because uh, I basically got all the points across I wanted to get across. But like I said again, guys, I thought Nerfman did a good video. Molly seems to be taking it well. But she's just having issues because she's kind of getting depressed over his fan base right now. Like I'm saying, guys, please, if you really want to be supportive of Nerfman and his content, do not go out and just be a bunch of asses. Please don't. It's not going to help anything. It doesn't solve anything. Just keep letting Nerf Man do that. You know, that's his form of entertainment, whatever. Uh, I think that wraps everything up. Uh, please, guys, share, like, and subscribe. As always, peace.